What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Golf Minded channel and welcome back to another equipment review video. But today, this is our first showcase video of 2020. Now what this means is we're going to be using all our videos that we had in the past and reviewing a type of golf club and today is our Players Iron Showcase. Now what this is, is an advanced iron that will be used for a low single digit handicapper. We will be giving our top five from 2020 and our reasons behind that. Now, throughout the video, if you want to look into these irons further, we'll be putting cards up on the screen so you can go into the full review for this iron and look at the technology, price and actual performance. What I'll be doing in this video is just giving you a rundown of how I felt when I tested it and if it could be right for your game. So let's get right into the video and go straight into number five. At number five is the TaylorMade P7 Muscle Cavity Irons. Now we tested these back in August alongside the P7 MBs and the P770s. We haven't included the P7 MBs in this top five because to be honest, we wouldn't recommend those for anyone apart from a tall level player. They are butter knife blades and they are very difficult to hit. But going into the TaylorMade P7 MCs, I'm sure you've seen many reviews about them. They are very, very good looking irons for this player's irons category. They still perform very well and they are definitely on the less forgiving side for a player's iron. I wouldn't recommend them if you are a high single figure digit handicapper, which is why I've ranked them at number five. But nevertheless, when you do strike it out the middle, the performance that you get of it is superb and it's so easy to shape and flight shots. In terms of distance, it didn't go as far as some other player's irons, but that's kind of to be expected because they are not that forgiving. Now, the price bracket, again, is the reason why we put them at number five. They are quite high, but that's completely down to you if you want to purchase them. If you are a low digit handicapper looking for a set of players irons, these are definitely one to get because they still do go a long way and the forgiveness paired with the shot shaping ability is spot on here. At number four, we've gone with the Mizuno JPX 921 Tor irons. Now, we tested these along with the other JPX 921 range, which include the Hot Metal, Hot Metal Pro, and the Basic Forged. These are the perfect player's iron for your game. They're forged and definitely out of the top five here, they are the best looking iron set, which is to be expected with a Mizuno iron. In terms of feel, again, it's hard to rank these anything other than number one. These feel superb off the face, and to be honest, I expected them to be a little bit less forgiving than what they were, but in the testing, they were really forgiving, they felt great off the face and the results I got with them were pretty good. And one thing to mention is because these are Mizunos and the Tor version, the lofts are not cranked up at all. So I noticed that my distances were nowhere near as far as the other irons. This isn't a problem, but if I'm kind of trying to rank them up together, this is why they are not in the top three. The price for them is fair as well and for an iron set, they are definitely very durable. So you'd have them for a long time. Now, at number three is the Ben Hogan Icon Black Irons. Now, I'm sure you're quite surprised at this selection, but I'll say why this is number three. First of all, the looks of this club is superb. For a brand that is not in the front runner of 2020 for the golf industry, they are now starting to market themselves in Europe and the iron they've released here in black is superb. I'm not normally one to pick a black finish iron because I feel like the durability isn't good. Eventually it doesn't look that great. But with these, the durability is spot on. They do last a long time and from our testing, we didn't see any wear and we did test these a lot and took these out on the golf course. They're definitely not that forgiving, but for a player's iron that kind of looks like an MB iron, almost like the TaylorMade P7 MB irons, they are a lot more forgiving and you'll be surprised because there's a tiny bit of cavity back in it that you don't really see because the way in which the club's designed. Now, I haven't said too much here about the price, but that's the main reason as to why we put it at number three. These come in at approximately 800 pounds, and this is nearly half the price of other leading competitors' iron sets. So this really ranks them above every leading competitor for 2020. Now, at number two is the Cobra King Tor Mim irons. Now, this might be a bit of a surprising one, and I did only test these a few weeks ago, but these are yet to be released, so this would be the perfect time to get them. I wasn't actually thinking these would be a good set of irons when I first looked at them. They're quite commercialized in their design and look more like a mid cavity back or game improvement iron because they're quite shiny. They don't have that MC or MB look. So the looks wise, I wasn't really looking forward to hitting these that much. But then when I got into the technology side, I was even more interested to try them because they say they're not forged and they're not cast. So I was thinking, how would these perform? Looking down at the club, it's still definitely a player's iron. There is a very thin top line and you can see, although there is a bit of forgiveness there, there's not too much. So definitely a player's iron here. 
when I hit them, I was blown away, to be honest. There was not any shot that I wasn't really happy with, especially on the golf course. The distance-wise was on par with more or less every other player, player's iron that I've hit, and my dispersion was perfect. Now, for someone who would probably need to get a set of player's irons that are a little bit more forgiving, as I currently play MB irons, these are the exact clubs that I should play, and for a lot of players in that kind of mid-single-digit handicap, these are perfect, because they don't look like they're a game improvement iron, but they still offer a lot of forgiveness. So I'd definitely try these out if you're in the market for some new player's irons. Now at number one is the TaylorMade P770 irons. Now this is the sister club to the P790 that was released in 2019. I would have ranked the number one as they are my favorite iron set, but these are a close second. These are a little bit less forgiving than the P790s, but in terms of looks, they look so nice. Surprising to see TaylorMade release set after set after set of iron sets that still really do perform in terms of looks, forgiveness and all other abilities that you want in a player's iron. You can see that the head of the P770s are a little bit more compact, but overall they still offer a little bit of forgiveness. Definitely not as forgiving as the Cobra King Tor MIM irons, but still offer some forgiveness compared to the P7MCs or any other MB iron. The price again is the same as the whole P7 range as an RRP which isn't bad, but it's still a little bit on the steep side. Still, you can tell the durability of these irons would last you a long time, so the price is kind of justified. I hit these irons the furthest with the seven iron going consistently 200 yards. I know the lofts are cranked up a little bit, which isn't a problem, but that's something to consider. So guys, that brings us to the end of the video and the end of the top five players iron showcase. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and if you've missed any important irons off. I'm sure we have, so let us know. There are a few that were probably a little bit controversial here, so I'm willing to listen in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video today, make sure you leave a like, because we're going to have a lot more showcases over the next few months coming to Christmas. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that button down below to keep up to date with all our new equipment reviews, challenges, and tour news. I'll see you guys at the next video.